Hello Pointigrammers, this is Johnny from Pointigram. Today we're going to learn about quest settings, how to set settings, add content, invite players, and how to add rewards. So let's start from the settings page where you can name your quest and add a picture that is shown for the players before entering the quest. You can also add a description, change public settings, and even categorize your quest. Note that recurring date and menu is default hidden. From here you can decide to schedule a quest and even make it recurring. For now, we're happy with the settings. Let's add some content by going to the content tab. A section is default added to our content table. Name it to something suitable for this quest. A section acts as a chapter and holds activities. Activities can be forms, quizzes and rich text content. For this example, let's add content activity. Name your activity, then start adding your information. This rich text editor can handle text, images, links, video links and more. I'll just copy and paste my information from a website. That's also doable. So when you're done adding information, just press OK on the top right corner. As you can see here in the content table, Stockholm Info is added under Stockholm section. So let's add a form activity. Now name your form, press on add new to add the new question. In the appearing box you can see what type of form elements are available. Multiple choice, ranking, text input, ratings and NPS. So I'll add a couple of questions and fast forward through this process and then press OK. As you can see, the form is added under the Stockholm section. So let's add a quiz to the same section. One big difference is that you need to collect a certain amount of points for passing this quiz. Per default, the field points needed to complete the activity is set to zero. Below that field, we also show how many points are available on this quiz based on the questions you add. To add a new question, press on Add New. When you have added a new question, you can decide what answer is correct or wrong. You can set it to mandatory or not. You can even set how many points should be awarded for each of those questions. So I'll just add a couple of questions and fast forward to the end. As you can see in the content table, the quiz activity is added under the Stockholm section. Note that I have in the background added a new section and a new content activity for Gothenburg, just to make this example better. To publish each section and activity, mark the checkboxes to the left and go to the three dotted menu and press publish. Let's add players to the quest. We have three options for adding players. Adding specific players, 
or specific teams or all players can join this quest. That's easy, right? Let's add a reward for completing the quest. You can give away reward points by selecting the score series and the amount of points or selecting quiz results. But you can also give away a badge at the same time or only give away a badge. Now you're done. To preview, press on the preview button. Awesome, we're done. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions, just email us at support at Have a nice day.